Hi folks, and welcome to Open Analysis Live, we're back. So today we're gonna to be talking about a pretty cool tool called Bindiff, which if you guys haven't heard of it, it's basically a tool that allows you to do some binary diffing, but a much more in-depth tool than the sort of cursory byte compare stuff that you guys might be used to. And we're also gonna show you how we use it to actually speed up our malware triage and how we use it to label new versions of malware with our old IDBs without having to use like an IDC script or anything like that. Now I know it's been a little while since we released a video. Our apologies, we've just been super busy working on Unpack Me, which is also the sponsor of the day. Unpack Me, a malware unpacking service from Open Analysis. Expose the malware before it exposes you. <laughs> Every time that commercial. But seriously, it's free service. Go check it out. It will do unpacking malware for you. Uh, we have integration with Malpedia, so it'll label the malware families for you. We even do some extraction of things like downloader URLs and other types of information that might be useful for triaging malware. So go check it out. Now, let's jump into Bindiff. So Bindiff is a tool that was originally from this company called Zynamics. You guys might be familiar with Halvar Flack. It's uh, his company, or it was his company, I guess. Uh, it was acquired by Google a while ago, um, but they still maintain this tool. Very cool of them. Uh, it's free and you can just go here and uh, download it. I'll leave a link in the description below where you guys can go and get it. Now, <laughs> why am I showing you guys how to download it and install it? The install isn't exactly uh, as straightforward as you might think. So let's hop over to our VM here. Uh, I've downloaded it and I'm gonna show you what's going on here. So if we just double click it, boom. Not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this actually doesn't have to do with the tool itself. This has to do with the MSI installer, which is checking to see whether you have a later version of Windows. And if you don't, then it won't install. Now I, myself, like probably most malware analysts like to use Windows 7 for various reasons, just simpler OS and whatnot. And so I'm gonna show you guys quickly here how to tweak the MSI uh, so that it'll install for you guys. I have to give all credit to Alex Handel, who we've featured on the channel many times before for finding the easy way to do this. The hard way is to actually extract it and just install them yourselves but there's actually this neat tool that Alex pointed out called Orca where you can just go and actually just change the MSI itself so that it'll install for you. So we'll just load up the MSI here. Uh, we go to, uh, I think it's uh, launch condition. Yeah, and then we'll just change this from, uh, we'll just change the version here to like six. All right, there we go. All right, uh, let's save that and now it should install just fine. So if you guys want to install it uh, on a Windows 7 VM, uh, that's all you have to do is just change that version number, um, which is a launch condition. And uh, I'll link the tool Orca below. It's uh, actually used to be distributed with uh, Visual Studio, I think. Uh, now you have to install it separately, but I'll give you guys a link to that as well. Might also help out if you guys have to triage some MSI stuff uh, in the future. So now we can go ahead and install it. Uh, I'm going to install it for IDA 7.4. So this is the latest version of IDA. There are older versions of Bindiff on that site that will work with older versions of IDA. Make sure you have the right one for the right version because obviously IDA's API is insane and it changes every version. So definitely not gonna work if you don't have the right version. Um, so anyway, 7.4, okay, next, install. So hopefully this works. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Hi everyone. Anthony Fantano here. All right, so now that it's installed, let's do a little demo here and I'll show you the power of uh, Bindiff. So we've been working on Revil in the past couple of videos. Uh, I've showed you guys how to decrypt the strings in it, how to fix the imports in it, et cetera, et cetera. And as we've been doing that, we have been labeling different functions within the sample. So we now have a nice marked up IDB that has all of the functions labeled. Well, not all of them, but some of the functions labeled that are important. And I'm gonna show you this trick with Bindiff. So basically I'm gonna grab a new sample of Revil and I'm gonna use Bindiff to basically compare the two samples and to transfer that information over into the new sample. So in order to do this, I'm going to grab a new sample of Revil or a newer sample of Revil uh, from Unpack Me. So I grabbed one of these before the video just for the demo. Pump this up here. Uh, so we have a sample here, uh, it's unpacked. And uh, so let's download it and I'll copy it over into our uh, IDA here. Okay, so I've copied over the unpacked Revil sample and now what we can do is we can load it up in IDA. And now that we have it loaded up, we can actually try out our Bindiff. So we can go into uh, File, Bindiff. And then what we wanna do is instead of selecting another binary file like we would with a normal diffing tool, we actually select the IDB that we've saved from analyzing our previous 
uh, file. So I have that uh, Revil sample that I analyzed for the other videos saved. I have the IDB for it saved here. Uh, so let's go and open that up. So now what the tool is doing is it's actually running uh, a much more in-depth comparison between the functions. And if we click on match functions here, uh, everything in green is matched. And then if you scroll down, you know, red is mismatched, et cetera, et cetera, by the percentage of, uh, of matching. And you can see over here the similarity. So one is like 100%, and then, you know, 99, blah, 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 all the way down to like almost 0%. So you can see that most of the functions have matched here. And this is the first tip when you're triaging. If you think the sample is uh, related to a sample that you've analyzed in the past, you can quickly use this to figure out uh, how much you know, similarity there is between the two samples. So that's the first, you know, sort of easy win. The second thing though, is uh, you've probably seen me typing in other videos, MW underscore when I uh, label a function name. And this is actually a tip that came from a friend and mentor a couple of years ago. Uh, and he said, why don't you use this uh, prefix on all of your functions? And then that way, when you're using bin diff, uh, you can actually just lump all those functions that are malware related together. And then I'll show you how to do this uh, in a second here. So we just control F, MW underscore. And now we have all of the malware related functions that I've labeled in my previous IDB are listed up here uh, together. So this is actually, if you guys have seen me doing this over the years using the MW underscore notation, this is actually why I do it. So now what I can do is I can see these are all 100% matches. So that means these functions are identical. And so what I can do is I can just select all of these uh, identical functions, right click, and then import symbols and comments. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna now label all these functions, move my comments and everything over into my new IDB, and I'll have those functions now being labeled. If I come over here, MW underscore. So now they're all labeled here in my new IDB. So you can see this is incredibly fast. This is like one of the fastest ways to transfer information that you've already done, work that you've already done on a malware family to new samples. And the cool thing about this is when the malware developers make small changes in their malware, uh, we'll just kill this uh, search here, you can actually spot it really quickly because you can see what functions are changing. Now, in this case, we haven't labeled all the functions, so we can't really see what it is that's changing because we haven't fully reverse engineered this. We've only done the initial triage, but you can see already, even with just the initial triage, we have a ton of stuff to go from. We have, we know where like the API resolving is happening, we know where the string decryption is happening. You know, we don't have to search for this. We don't have to write ER rules for it or anything like that. Uh, it's just right there, easily labeled. And you can just repeat this process again and again, especially if you're doing um, some sort of comparison between uh, like how malware families evolved over the years or over a couple weeks, et cetera, et cetera, depending on the timelines. You can just use this to keep comparing samples to samples. So it's actually like incredibly useful. And ever since I found out about this, ever since I've been using it pretty much uh, daily for all my triage. So now you guys know, Bindiff, it's more than just a diffing tool, it's a triage tool. So hopefully you guys find this useful. Uh, I know, just a quick tip, uh, we don't have time for a full in-depth video this week, but hopefully we'll be a little bit back on schedule coming up soon and we'll be able to do a few more deep dive uh, videos. Uh, again, a lot of our time is spent on fixing bugs and adding features to unpack me, so that kind of means less time here. But hopefully you guys are finding value there too, so it's, it's you know, a bit of a trade-off. Anyway, so until next time, uh, keep exposing the mechanics behind the malware. Stay curious.